Well, being as though I'm feeling a little bit better today and we've got this hurricane coming and I haven't got time to do out I'll just have one more go with what I've got and I've put a lot more fuel in the bottom. You can, I mean you can see how far it's sticking up now. So we'll just see. Because I'm not gonna make a steam engine out of this, I mean it did work look. If you see. I got a little bit but I couldn't of course separate it from the flag because it's set in the bottom. Anyway, that can all be remelted and done in time. So because I got this fuel and as I say because it will be a we're having bad, we're supposed to be having bad weather, we've got to tell this hurricane coming. I thought I'll just use up what I've got and see what happens. Oh, I'm making smoke, if nothing else. Well, if you look in there, that's definitely plenty hot enough. Problem is, as you know, the bottom is concave, isn't it? It's rounded in, it should be flat. So it's getting hot on the outside, plenty hot enough. As you can see down there, that's almost oh, 1200 degrees now. When it melts at half that, so there's plenty of heat, it's just I need another crucible. Anyway, like I said, we're just trying it for a bit of fun. I've got fuel, and also this smoker fuel took a bit longer to get going, but it it seems to be lasting an awful lot longer than charcoal, so I think that's the answer. Well, I'm just going to show you this because we have had minor success. Like I said, a lot of the problem is because the crucible, it hasn't got a flat bottom. So if you look under there, we have actually got molten aluminium. Where are you going to stick on it? Set fire to it, but that doesn't matter. Look, you see? Look, we've got plenty of molten aluminium, haven't we? So as we've had a minor success, I'm going to pull it out now and uh, see if I can just tip a very small amount into a bowl. But the answer is definitely these nuggets because they've lasted an awful lot longer. So that's slightly encouraging, isn't it? We'll just see if we can get anything. Gloves on. I've only got a very small amount, so we're not too worried. And if the slag goes in with it, it does. You know, I'm not, uh, today, I'm not that bothered. It's just good to know that with a minor alteration, it's going to work. That's all it's about. Because when I pull it out, I can't put it back, you see, because the coals are all around it. And, oh, it's just... <sighs> it was a quick point. Look at that. I mean, that's plenty high enough, isn't it? Right, shall we kill Yeah, we're nearly getting there. Look at this. Just about to see molten aluminium look. It works, see? Yeah. Doesn't it? Yeah. Hey? Let's have a look in the pot. That's all slag. And I'm, that's about a bucket of cans. Put it on it. Put it over it. What I've done, I, well, I, I'm feeling a bit better today, I was just telling Craig. Feeling a bit better today, and I've got that bag of coal. I thought I'll just try it and see, and it's worked a hell of a lot better. Yeah. Because it, charcoal, what that was, it had gone. By the time I'd. Uh, you got quite a good flame on that. Yeah, it's, it's that smoker's fuel, it works well, actually. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. I was just about to pour it, <laughs> and my neighbour come in, and I stood wrong side, stood wrong side of the camera. Anyway, I think that. Uh, Minor successes, that's solidified, yes. Right. Let's cool one off if it comes out. It won't get. I'm going to put more in there. There we are, that's one bit. That's going. There we are. Probably with this camera, you can't see the screen, but look, there we are, it's sizzling. But, I suppose, we can now say that it's successful. So, I could actually carry on, I don't know if I'm going to or not. But as I say, the problem is, 
<coughs> when I take the crucible out, it's very, very difficult to put it back in again. Got to look. I think they will be cool by now. As I say, we're not doing a very good job of videoing that because. Uh, but it doesn't matter, it's worked, hasn't it? So it just proves it works. And that's usable aluminium there. So that's cheered me up a bit, I suppose. After the week I've had, and if you look, there's plenty of fuel left to do another one. So with a smaller container, it'll go back in the fire again, obviously. Because I can make a rake and scrap round and that, it's going to work, isn't it? So, and that's with me hot air dryer, by the way. So, yeah, that's better. That's a lot better. It's better than my last attempt, didn't it? At nothing. It went cold. Eh? At least I can chuck that back in and redo it. It doesn't matter about that, but. Right. Sorry about this I mean, poor video in today, but it's uh, you can't have everything, can you? You can't have everything. Yeah, look at that. That's proper nugget of solid alley, that is. So, um, we're going to have to melt lots of these. But if you think of something like that in one of those trays, it's machinable, isn't it? You see what I mean? It, I could file it up and make a base out of one of those. That, you know, that would be about what we want. So, anyway, it's going to work. That's the main thing. I'm a bit pleased with that. Nice to carry on, but I've had enough for today. We'll um, we'll have another go another day. Now I've got the fire nice and hot. And those nuggets definitely work better than charcoal. Right. I'll clear up. Well, at last, a bit of good news. It's going to work. Done that. Right. We'll show you most of it, but the problem is, it's. Uh, I'll tell you now what I've done. Now it's finished and cooled off. I've cooled it off using those nuggets and the paint blower. Took a lot longer to get going. I put a lot more underneath it. And the biggest problem is, um, with this, having that underneath, look. So it needs a flat bottom putting on it. And I put a lot more underneath it, and it only went to about there. So it took a long, long time to start melting. But once it did, it started going. So I thought, well, rather than push my luck anymore, we'll do these. And uh, I stood in front of the camera when... I was pouring it because I showed me neighbour, not you. Anyway, as I say, at last a bit of good news. And those, look, they're quite smooth underneath. And I think, you know, if I get one of those other trays and put some in there, I'll, I'll be able to make a base for my steam engine, which I am wanting to do. That's all I am wanting to do out of these. So... You know, it might work after all. We'll see.